Shalom, shalom, people of God. My name is Brenda, and today I am privileged and greatly humbled to share with you precious news from our man of God, Prophet Joel Lutuka. For the past few weeks, our man of God has been authoring a daily devotion which he has termed as the prophetic nuggets. It is a tool of meditation drafted to us from the Spirit of God through our man of God that we may have something to fellowship with every day. We all know that the Spirit of God wants us to increase in knowledge and understanding of his word daily. Hence, he has inspired our man of God to release words of teaching and counsel to us for our benefit. Would you kindly join me today as we feed from the table of the Lord this morning, this afternoon, or this evening from wherever you are watching us from. And the title of our daily devotional today is The Voice of the Blood. We're going to read scripture from the book of Exodus chapter 11, verses 2-7, and it says, Then a loud wail will rise throughout the land of Egypt, a wail like no one has heard before, or will ever hear again. But among the Israelites, it will be so peaceful that not even a dog will bark. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between the Egyptians and the Israelites. Over the past few weeks, our man of God has been teaching us about the voice of the Lamb. Here is an exposition of what happened in Egypt during the days when God raised Moses as a deliverer of the children of Israel. The Bible says that during those days, God used Moses and Aaron to perform signs and wonders in the palace of Pharaoh so that he could free the children of Israel from slavery. But God himself used to harden Pharaoh's heart so that he could, be, he could be stubborn against the miracles he did in Egypt, not knowing that God had a plan for his fall. For he says in his word in the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 17, for scripture says to Pharaoh, I raised you up for this very purpose, that I might display my power in you, and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. He wanted to prove to him that there is only one God. Upon the heightening of miraculous events in Egypt, God commanded Moses to tell the children of Israel to slaughter lambs. You do remember on the voice of the lamp in our last expose? Now it is time for us to understand this. It was the time for the voice of the lamb to be the highest voice than all other voices in Egypt. Where was this voice located? A man of God is asking. And he answers, it was located in the blood of the lambs. No wonder the instructions that God gave to Moses. He told him to tell the Israelites to smear the blood on the doorposts. Why the doorposts? Because Jesus Christ is the way. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the door. It was a prophetic declaration concerning Christ. Praise the Lord. It was to signify that Jesus will be crucified on the cross and all the curses of man will be poured on that cross. Hallelujah. Therefore, the blood was not to be put on the floor, neither on their heads or on their hands, but on the door. So prophetic. Exodus chapter 12 verse 13 we read, The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. This also signifies to us that before anyone enters into your life, he has to cross the blood of Jesus. Before any trouble enters your home, it has to cross the blood of Jesus because it is his blood that stands at your door. And we all know that a door signifies entrance. Praise the Lord. After the children of Israel obeyed God, only silence was heard in the place where they dwelt, meaning that their silence provoked the voice of the blood which destroyed the firstborns of Egyptians. Hallelujah. What kind of dimension of glory this was. It means when you are silent, there is a voice that is speaking. It is called the voice of the blood. Remember, during the time when they wanted to cross the Red Sea, Moses told them to be silent. He said in Exodus 14, 14 NIV, the Lord will fight for you. You only, you need only 
to be still. Praise the Lord. That means, child of God, that whenever God wants to fight for you sometimes, he needs you to be still. He needs you to be silent. Because when you're silent, there's a voice that is speaking on your behalf. It is called the voice of the, of the blood, as our man of God has explained to us. Exodus 14.14, 14, also to take the message deeper, in the message translation, it says, God will fight the battle for you, and you, you keep your mouths shut. Hallelujah. So this means that their victory, evidently, was in their ability to remain silent. Praise the Lord. So it is for you, child of God. How do you allow the, the voice of the, of the Lamb to speak? It speaks when you're silent. So allow the blood of the Lamb to speak in your life. Because when it speaks, it speaks better things concerning you. What a revelation we have had today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We want to thank our man of God for such a beautiful expose today. So I want you to join me in our prophetic decree today. And repeat after me and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the Passover. I affirm that in every situation I face in life, I am still, for you will fight for me. And sure to your word, I will hold fast my salvation. I affirm that I am always led in perpetual victories in Christ. For as long as I am still, the blood of Christ speaks louder in my life. I will never be defeated in life. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed and all the saints say a, shout, a big and a shouting amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Would you just join me to speak in other tongues and to pray as this devotional sinks into, into our spirits this morning, that we will never be defeated in life. Come on, open up your mouth and let us speak in other tongues. Father, I thank you because we will never be defeated in life. I thank you because for as long as we remain silent, the voice of the blood is still speaking for us. I thank you because the voice of the blood speaks better things concerning us. Libra sota kele brandekaya. Libra sheta librandos as we go out today we speak into our life the victories of Christ we speak perpetual victories in every area of our life father there is victory in our finances there is victory in our children there is victory in our marriages there is victory in our lives libra sota libra di lepraka sote libra di in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So for our father's study today, I want us to read some, some few scriptures that our man of God has highlighted for us. We are going to read from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 23 to 24, NIV. To the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Glory to God. What a verse to meditate on the whole day. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 25 to 27, according to the New Living Translation, it says, Be careful that you do not refuse to listen to the one who is speaking. For if the people of Israel did not escape when they refused to, uh, when they refused to listen to Moses, the earthly messenger, we will certainly not escape if we reject the one who speaks to us from heaven. And we have seen who speaks to us from heaven. Praise the Lord. When God spoke from Mount Sinai, his voice shook the earth. But now he makes another promise. Once again, I will shake not only the earth, but the heavens also. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 27 to 29, in the NLT, it says, This means that all creation will be shaken and removed, so that only unshakable things will remain. That means that when the voice of the blood is speaking, only unshakable things remain. Praise the Lord. Since we, we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable, it is us, 
let us sorry be thankful and please God by worshiping him with holy fear and awe for our God is a devouring fire praise the lord what a verse what scriptures what a word that we have received today our lives can never be the same again child of god i want to encourage you to keep going back to this devotion keep meditating on it day and night meditate on it as you go to work as you do your things at home to the glory and praise of our lord jesus christ shalom shalom beautiful people thank you so much for listening we see you we see you tomorrow god bless you